yourself for some killer commentary. Hey. <laughs> this is the, the last of our four fights we'll be commentating on. And we got some big boys coming up. It's the main event for us. The main <laughs> event for the for the undercar fights, man. Uh, we got two big boys, and we got the Shea Finzen, who's coming in at 6'9", 265 pounds. Yeah, it's a big dude. Yeah, now we got, but making his way to the cage right now is uh, Jason Osai. Uh, this dude is 6'4", 255, man. He's a, a ex-football player, so I can't wait to see this one, man. You know, I like big boys, man. I, I like big dudes and up, man. So uh, his fighting style uh, is just it's his Dutch kickboxing style, so... Hopefully, man, we get to see some, some leather being thrown in this one. Always good to see the big boys throw down. Always. They say, man, uh, about 63% of heavyweight fights end in knockout. So. Usually in the first round. Yeah, <laughs> right. Big old boy. This thing, man, he's six four, and we got uh, Mr. Finzen coming in at six nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for three rounds of fighting action in the XKO heavyweight division. This fight is brought to you by Swole Clock, the official time clock of the XK. Oh, and now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner, a freestyle fighter standing six feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 258 pounds. With two victories, zero defeats, fighting out of Arlington, Texas, Deshai Montrell Finzen. And now his opponent across the cage, Fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. He's trained in jiu-jitsu and Dutch kickboxing. He stands six feet, four inches tall, and weighed in at 253 pounds, making his amateur debut. Fighting out of London, England, Jason No Games Your referee, Aladdin so Martinez. Not look intimidated. All right, yeah, man. Look intimidated this is an amateur MMA fight. All right. No back of the heads. No, no torso. We. No elbows. Good luck. Think about Aladdin. How are you gonna stop this dude? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to stop. <laughs> yeah, this is the big old boy. These are some big old boys here. Right He's thinking. Now. Aladdin's thinking to himself right now. Six nine, six how, four. How am I gonna pull this dude off? I'm gonna have to put him in a rear naked choke. Yeah. Here's some big old boys, man. Here we go. Both south paws. Yeah. Now with the jab. Way oh, nice there, kid. He looks very dude, composed, quick. man. Yeah, he is. He's quick for a big dude. Nice, man. nice. Okay. Shot comes back. Nice body shots. Yeah, man, Osai is very athletic, man. Very composed. Both these guys look pretty good, man. Yeah, they making their speed. debut. Putting the combos together. Yeah. I would like to see uh I would like to see the shy man start to use his jab or use his reach. Stay He's long. so not nice. yeah. So long. He's so tall. Long. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, oh yeah, left. overhand left, right behind the ear, man. That that'll ring the yeah. bell. And that's coming from a big old boy like that. I know he felt that one. Hey, nice inside leg kick. I would like to see him not throw single shots, throw more punch, you know, punches and bunches. You know, I can see a nice one, one, two. But Jason is, uh, he's so athletic, man. You know, he moves, you know, he moves pretty good for a big dude, man. The dude probably has like 5% body fat. If that. Yeah. I, I'm sure, and, and with all that muscle, I'm sure he knows the feeling of being fatigued. He doesn't want to be there. Of course. So he's staying really calm, composed, doesn't want to punch himself out. 
I'm pretty sure this dude can walk onto any NFL team and be a starting linebacker yeah. tomorrow. No doubt. Yeah, this is a big old dude, man. He's in he's in great physical shape, you know. But for him to be making his amateur debut, man, you know he's he's moving light on his feet, and I'm more so impressed about him not trying to throw such power shots at every single punch. He's throwing like pitter pat shots, finding his openings, and he's landing them when it matters. You know, that, that's that's hard to teach. That just goes to show you how very well coached he is. Nice. Just putting him up against the cage. Yep. Nice snap down. Nice breakaway. Now he's starting to cut the cage. Cutting it off. Away. Oh, cutting it off. He's going to put him right him. in the corner right there. Leg kick hurt him. That hurt him. That is the Oh, oh wow. Calm down to pick his shots more. Shots is a little tired, man. He's felt that power. I think he's got him concerned a little bit. He got him a little re uh, hesitant as far as letting his hands go. Ten seconds to go in the first. Yeah, this fight went longer than I thought it would, actually, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, both. Yeah, but you know, this goes to show that's a testament to both guys. Both guys are relaxed. They're calm, not trying to work here. Yeah. Defense, defending themselves properly. Of course. Uh, the shy's over here in the basketball shorts. When's the last time you seen a dude fight basketball shorts? Hey. It's been a minute. He needs to swing by the fight fit booth, <laughs> grab his uh, some hey. fight fit shorts. Most definitely, most definitely. Today, if we would have known that, we should have brought him some in the back before the yeah, fight started. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> That's a big old boy, man. I used this opportunity to give it a plug. Check out FightFitLifestyle.com. We got CBD products, uh, yep. cryotherapy, martial arts gear, and fan apparel. So check it out. FightFitCBD.com, FightFitLifestyle.com. There you go. Check it out, man. I use it, man. The CBD oil is great, you know, especially on the way to training or after a hard training session. Oh, that's my all favorite product up. you guys. Yeah, I got the muscle rub, rub that muscle rub, take the tincture under the tongue, Yeah. sleep like a baby. Here we go, getting ready to start the second round. Aladdin looks like he is the size of one of each of these dudes' legs <laughs> compared to these dudes. Jason's still light on his feet, man, to start the second round. He's more active, man. He's taking it. Nice, nice right, uh, right hand, hit him with a right hook. Wait, oh, body kick. Wait, again. That's not easy taking down a 6'9 dude, man. 265 pounds. That's a big old dude, man. And Aladdin's play, playing chicken in there. He's <laughs> running away. Like, it's going to be hard to avoid those dudes coming at you. But yeah. Outside leg kick. So Jason's doing a very good job of circling away from uh, from Deshaun's power hand. And that's why he's able to land his straight left down the pipe a whole lot more because he keeps circling to the opposite side. And he's lining himself up for his straight left to get through. So, oh! felt this power now, let's see what he does. He's like, okay, man, I felt this best shot. Let's see if that has an effect. I don't think he wants to get hit like that again. He's wincing. Yeah. He's in pain. That eye is looking a mess. Let's see how he perseveres, man. Is he gonna let the eye affect him or? Is he gonna, is he gonna keep, you know, is he gonna pour in the pressure? He, right now, he just, I, I believe he just needs to, oh, that looked like that was a little bit low. I think Jason just needs to put it on him here. Uh, to shy. Visibly wincing. Of course. Pain. Maybe right now you. That's when you put it on. You know, maybe put him in the clinch, put him against the cage, wear yeah, him down, and yeah. hopefully, like going into the third round. You want out. Yeah, man, it, it, it'll pay out to your, you know, it'll pay off for you. But 
oh, man, this dude just sitting on the outside and hearing these, these hands land, man, this dude is throwing hammer. He hits hard, even when he's not trying to hit hard. He reminds me of one of our training partners, Muhammad Usman. You know, <laughs> yeah, big, big, dude. big dudes, man, and gas. That man have a great gas tank. Yeah, because they train hard. You yeah. know, they they don't just rely on all of that that muscle. Wait, this is the new breed of heavyweights, man. You're not, you're no longer seeing big, yeah, out of shape an guys. Yeah, debut, man. and he's not getting tired. Yeah, you see pros getting tired after the first. Oh yeah, he's finding out that, that left hand is sneaking in there, man. Excellent second round. It was. Man, this fight's gone longer than anybody could have expected. Hey. It is. Doctors, it feels like you're taking a look at that eye, man. Yeah, taking a close look at that eye. I think he'll let it continue, but yeah, I do. you want to make sure he doesn't have a shattered orbital, you know? Yeah, like I, like we said earlier, man, this is only an amateur fight. You don't want to take too much damage before you even turn pro, man. They're talking to each other in there. Respect between the two fighters, man. I love the sportsmanship, man. Shots a tough dude, bro. His, I mean, some of those shots he took, I tell you, man, his, then with his eye looking like that, him still coming forward in this third round. With that left. If I was in his, Count him out. If I'm in this corner, man, I'm telling him, hey, man, I, you need to, hey, you got to go for the finish. You got to, got to, you got to get into exchanges with him, man. You got to make him tired. You got to stay more tight down the pipe. Nice parry out in the jab afterwards. Circling, circling. Looking for that left. Shy doesn't have enough, uh, enough output. I would like to see him. I feel as though he's behind on the scorecards, and I think yeah, he should be pushing the pace a little bit minute. more, man. Um, but like I said, I think that uh, I think Jason's power got him second guessing himself to get in there with those exchanges. He does have Jason circling away yeah. quite a bit. He does, but he's trying he, to get he, a hold of him, he needs to cut him off rather than chase him because he's going to end up running into that left hand. Totally agree, man. You know, like I said, this is also something else that. The more training that you get in, you understand, man, is uh, how to cut, off how to the, cut ring. the ring yeah. off. Like, you shuffle, you shuffle to the mark. Don't, don't step and step and step. Like, follow him where he's going. Like, you got you to gotta step to where he's going to be to make him change his. Yeah, you got to step ahead of him, make him go the other way. Yep. You got to make him second guess himself, man. Shy keeps throwing those inside leg kicks. Just getting out of the way of those big bombs thrown by Jason, so. Got about a minute left in the third round. See if somebody wants it more than the other. You know, it's always Jason, good. Jason, I think he's just giving away this round, running, running away. Yeah. Because he knows he's up two to, two to one. Yeah. yeah. He has a little flurry, but nothing lands. It's good, man. You know, it's also good these guys getting here their first fight. You know, you know their MMA, uh, MMA debut. Oh, that, ooh, amateur debut. And, ooh, nice. It's like you got guys with, you know, 5-0 and no, never been out of the first round. Exactly. And they getting that experience, man. It's good to see these guys are going the entire distance. And it lets you know early about yourself. It lets you know, yeah. hey, man, I can go those deep waters if I need to. And So, it's, I mean, it's, it's a good start for both these guys as far as amateur goes. Yeah, so, both of them being in their amateur. The way they're composed, man, to be amateurs, it's, it's, I'm telling you, man, a lot of people think it's not easy getting up here and fighting. Celebrate, but put some ice on your face, please. Yeah. please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for your heavyweights this evening. 
After three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges have scored the bout. 30-27, 30-27, and 30-27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Jason No Games Olsen! Great fight.